And a new ABC News Ipsos poll shows Americans are split on who they trust to do a better job as president. 36% say they trust former President Trump to do a better job, while 33% trust President Biden, and 30% trust neither candidate. Let's bring in ABC News political director Rick Klein for more. Rick, this poll also shows more Republicans trust Trump than Democrats trust Biden, while 37% of independent voters said they don't trust either of them. So how significant is that? Yeah, this third, third, third is kind of the story of this election year, Diane, and I think you see it across both of those poll questions, and I think you see it uh, elsewhere in the electorate. You've got, you know, strong Democrats, um, uh, slightly stronger Republicans behind Trump, and then a big chunk of the country, about a third of the country, that isn't hot on either of these guys. And that's where the election is going to be won or lost, is how you consolidate your base and then try to reach that third that might, might, not, uh, might not like either one of them. We've been calling them the double haters, Diane. So far, they're going a little bit toward Joe Biden, but that is where a lot of this territory is going to be staked out over this coming eight months is trying to reach those voters uh, and, and basically present the option that, um, that, you, that you hope that you, they hate you less than the other guy. That's the best they can hope for at getting some of those votes. Uh, Rick, this poll also looked at the issues Americans trust East candidate on and voters trust Trump more on the economy, inflation, crime and immigration, but they trust Biden more on climate change and abortion. What do you make of those numbers? Yeah, this has been a consistent finding in the polls. And uh, we thought maybe because the State of the Union that was delivered on Thursday night, this poll was in the field right after that, we saw a lot of people that watched the State of the Union were impressed by what they saw in Joe Biden. Um, they thought they, he outperformed their own expectations. But he is not, though, outperforming expectations on these issues um, around the economy, around crime, around immigration. Those are, those are right now owned by Trump. And it's going to be a struggle for Biden to kind of win any of them back. We're going to see a big focus on that. And I think as, as the president is out on the campaign trail in a couple battleground states, he's going to be a lot more active this week than Donald Trump for a change on the trail. Trump's going to have more courtroom uh, action per usual. But, but I think that th these are key issues because this is where people, when they do focus on the issues, tend to focus. And uh, we saw the president touting his own accomplishments and also, I think, tellingly uh, trying to contrast himself with Donald Trump. He spent as much time, if not more, in talking about what Trump would do and why that was a bad idea, in his view, uh, during his State of the Union as he did talking about his own plans, because he knows that a lot of people are just going to make that as a choice. Now, Biden's approval rating on the Israel-Hamas war has gone down as he faces criticism from within his own party. Now, some of the progressive groups behind those uncommitted primary protest votes are spending money to defend Democrats who've criticized Israel. How critical is that issue come November? And how do you think this intra-party debate plays into the campaign season? Yeah, and this is a new development just this morning, Diane. Um, uh, my, our colleague Ben Siegel had some exclusive reporting about some of the efforts that some of the best known uh, progressive groups, liberal groups, are, are now going to be energizing their supporters to, to protect incumbents uh, up and down the ballot from primary challenges when they are squared up against groups like AIPAC that support Israel. So that's an important change in strategy as we uh, play out the primary process. ABC News political director Rick Klein, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.